Good day everyone, Connor here from CW's Tech Reviews. Today we're going to be installing Superman ROM on the Galaxy S7. Now this is Superman ROM Android 7.0 and Superman ROM version 2.2. I do have it downloaded onto my OTG. I'm going to install it off there. So I'm going to do a quick how to install off an OTG, then a quick software review and how to set it up in the aroma. So let's just get stuck straight into that, eh? Power off, restart to recovery, hit OK. I'll just take this case out quickly. Now, one thing I'm going to do is a full wipe. So, I'm going to format everything. Type yes. And it's going to do its thing. It's going to go through and it's going to wipe everything on the phone. There we go, done. Now I'm going to install, select storage, OTG. Hit OK and go to Superman ROM version 2.2 and swipe and that's where the fun begins there's Superman ROM that's pretty cool and here we go so Aroma installer was the first and the only touch and customizable Android ROM installer in the world click next to continue Yes, I have read it and I agree. So basically, it's my problem if anything goes wrong. I'm going to choose this one, ROM installation with various features. I'm going to do clean install, wipe everything except the external SD card. I probably don't have to because I've just formatted it, but that's what I'm going to do anyway. I'm going to leave BTU there. No need to change that. Super stock kernel. Kernel auditor. And I'm going to keep my current recovery. I'm going to allow it to fingerprint right after a reboot instead of having to put in the pin. Enable multi-user. Performance tweaks. Power saving tweaks. You can also do faster boot process camera tweaks and wake clocks next yes I want that I want super issue installed busy box version 4.a of Viper 4 Android next I want modded camera install sound mod version 19 stock emojis modded system UI no ambient display modded settings next I do want touch with swipe, which will replace Flipboard, definitely. I don't need to update my modem. I don't need to update my bootloader. Next. And I'm going to go stock boot emanation. Change it back. And stock splash screen. Next. Enable ad blocker by default. Now that will not let 3 minute battery work, but I have got the paid version. Samsung apps. I don't need the email. I don't need the Galaxy Store. Definitely don't need the music player. Next. I want Google Now, Chrome, Gmail, Maps, Music, Movies, YouTube. Next. 
I don't want any of those extras on there. I'll go Root Explorer. Next, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp. Install now. It's going to run through all that. A lot of those, you, you just choose what you want. If you don't like what's in there, then you don't choose it. Um, if you don't know what it means, then maybe just choose the one that says recommended or if, uh, or no. If you don't want to install something, you're not sure what it does. You can always read about it later and come back and reflash it. Um, I would suggest reading about it before you do this. Um, but sometimes you just take a bit of a punt, take a risk and flash it and see how it goes. And that's what I'm doing tonight. Normally I do install my disk. Tonight I didn't. I just installed SuperSU. So we'll see how that goes. Um, if it doesn't work properly through Aroma, I can always just go back into Twerp and flash SuperSU through there anyway. So there's SuperSU installer going on. Boot image patcher. 100% uh, Next. Reboot system. I shall be back once that's completed. All right, everyone, here we are. We've set the ROM up, and I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough of the ROM. Uh, now, very stock looking ROM, but I will mention a couple of things in here. I'll put everything in one folder that comes installed on the ROM that's not stock like and it's in a folder here called ROM stuff. So you get three minute clock, three minute battery settings, add away, OTA update, a busy box, Dolby Atmos, kernel auditor, phone info, Superman ROM control, super issue, root checker, Viper 4, Android, swipe reset and three minute battery settings. So you get for the three minute battery, you get the paid version which works on rooted devices, because the unpaid version doesn't. Um, and Superman ROM control is probably the main one. So if I go in here, you can see, you can change your battery settings, battery bar hidden, because I'm using three minute battery mod. Uh, you can clock settings, you can go in here, clock shown, yes, right. I'm gonna go center. You can see the center clock up there. Um, tap on clock settings disabled, show clock and date clock format settings, so you can change a lot of different settings within the status bar. Lock screen mods, recent panel, weather settings, volume buttons, uh, so a lot of stuff in there. You got phone settings, incoming auto call record, outgoing auto call record, framework preferences, notification panel, oops, so pull down menu settings, notification panel colors, device info customizations. So lots of different um, settings within the Superman ROM control itself. So it's a pretty cool ROM. Uh, now, I haven't had any issues whatsoever. S Health works on it. Um, so, you know, it's not um, blocked. I know that some of the other apps I was using. Uh, once I rooted my device, wouldn't work on Nougat. Well, S Health works on this ROM, which is running on Nougat. I'll just go into there and show you that as well. About device, software info, Superman ROM version 2.2, Android version 7.0. And it's on the latest, I believe, or one of the latest uh, versions of Android 7.0 for the Galaxy S7. So really good really a lot of work done here from the rom developer himself and you also do have in there kernel auditor so you can go in and tweak the settings of the kernel and there's all the settings of kernel auditor or some of them and you can go in here and change the cpu battery io scheduler there we go you can choose to apply on boot and get your ROM running for battery or for performance, whichever one suits you, floats your boat. So that's pretty much it. Everything else is pretty stock on there. A lot of fun, nice and very stable. You won't get much more stable than this ROM itself. 
Um, so hit me up if you've got any comments down below, any questions, if you've tried this ROM and didn't like it, if you've got another ROM out there, let me know as well. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment, all that stuff, and I'll catch you in the next one. Check is.